Welcome to First Word Farmers News Roundup for March the 9th, brought to you today by Senior Editor Matt Dennis. In our top news story, the list prices of Johnson & Johnson's pharmaceutical products in the US rose by an average of 8.1% last year versus an increase of 8.5% in 2016. After taking into account various discounts and rebates, the average net price change was a decrease of 4.6%, trailing the country's 1.8% medical inflation rate. Johnson & Johnson's pharmaceuticals business posted sales of $21.5 billion in the US, up by 6.7% on 2016. Joaquin Duato, head of the pharmaceuticals business, said the increase was due to higher volume and not prices, adding that prices after discounts will remain flat this year. In other news, a Phase 3 study of VBL Therapeutics VB111 in patients with recurrent glioblastoma failed to meet its primary endpoint of overall survival. The trial randomised patients with recurrent glioblastoma to receive VB111 in combination with Roche's Avastin compared to Avastin monotherapy. In addition, Eli Lilly appointed Maura Dickler as Vice President of Late Phase Development at its Oncology Unit, effective May the 7th. Dickler is currently Section Head of the Endocrine Therapy Clinical Research Program at Memorial Sloan Kettering Cancer Centre. And finally, Sanofi completed the acquisition of BioVeritiv for $105 per share in cash. CEO Olivier Brandicor said the deal provides us with a strong position in the large and growing haemophilia market and expands our presence in specialty care. To read these and other stories in full, visit firstwordpharma.com. Are you able to keep up with all the news and views in the biosimilars market? First Word's Biosimilar Index is the only dedicated biosimilar and non-comparable biologics intelligence tool available. Get ahead of your competition and learn more today.